Hi submarine friends. So what I've done now, this is step two. I jumped ahead and I actually worked on the body for a while. It's uh, actually pretty much ready to bolt back on. So I also painted this uh, ballast tank. This ballast tank used to be a tidy tank out of a pickup. Most of you probably recognize that. It was three or four inches too wide, so I had to narrow it. So I split it down the middle and I just welded it back together narrower. Then I made a platform here to accept this guy. This is a solenoid valve. It's encased in a rubber housing and it's oil filled. So the solenoid valve is only exposed to oil, not to the water at all. And that vents the air out of this ballast tank. And the power cord goes through the ballast tank and out the bottom and then into this underwater plug, which just plugs into the hub. The back of the ballast tank, I don't know if you can see it, but there's two vents in the bottom. And that's where the water leaves the tank and where the water enters the tank. So now I'm just going to slip it into the chassis here. Perfect. It's a snuggly fit, but that's what we want. So the tank actually is structural to the chassis. When it bolts in, it holds the two main buoyancy tanks from moving back and forth, or side to side rather. So now I just bolt it in, plug in the wire, hook up the airline, and it's done. So another thing that I've been working on that I wanted to do is I cut the body into three sections. So this is one section here. You can see it's cut off right here and it just bolts on here and then it bolts here and here to connect to the back sections. It also, this is the main bolt support right here in the front. That's what does all the heavy lifting. So another thing I did, I wanted a little bit more ballast in the front. So this is the, the ballast tank for the front of the sub. It's integrated into the body, obviously. So I wanted at least six gallons extra. And the way I did that is I just cut the front off and I changed the angle. So the front of this used to angle back and simply by removing that and making it flat up and down in the front, it doesn't look as good now, but I've got 60 pounds more buoyancy. So when it's at the surface, it gives me that additional stability. So now we move on to the next step. Ciao.